Welcome to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive. One star at the timer. Let's go. Dude. So I recently went back to Ohio to visit friends and family, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going and, next month. Yeah, you are. And uh, so in Ohio, <laughs> in the corner that we live in, we, we lived close to Pennsylvania, kind of. Sure. Um, there is an Amish population in that ah. general area. And that's one of the, I mean, there's, that's a huge Amish population in Pennsylvania and Ohio. Right? Yeah, what's the other one? There's the Amish and then there's the Mennonites. The, the Mennonites. Yeah, they, um, and I just talked to my family about this. There's the Mennonites are the ones that use some modern day yes, stuff. Yes, yes, yes. And they even told me that the Amish get around. Uh, By using so, the Mennonites. Well, they can have, it's interesting. Uh, they said, no, the, the true Amish, can, there's certain things they can do. Like if they have a business, they can have a cell phone. If, or like, oh, but okay. if they have to have, some of them have like a phone, don't have a phone on their property, but across the street, they'll have almost like a phone booth set up oh, with, okay. a, with, a, with a home phone, but it's in like a building across the street from their property. And they'll use like generators instead of having like electricity. Like there's okay. ways they can get around things, even if they're Amish. <laughs> but um, sure. anyways. So this this story actually made national news. There, Orwell, Ohio, which is country town USA out there, they the cops they found this dude driving with his buggy and he was passed out drunk, and and he was uh, he was driving down the road and they it's all caught on dash cam and they go up to the guy and they're trying to wake him up he won't wake up. And they try to like cut the horse off, and the horse so the horse will stop. The horse runs into the cop car, and then like they wake the guy up, and the guy's like, "The horse knows how to get home." Yeah, the horse is fine. <laughs> yeah, so um, so this whole thing. Well, the debate about it is: is can you charge this guy with DUI? Oh, uh, I didn't even think about that. And what's interesting is in Amish communities, okay, I see the horses know how to get home. I mean, and honestly, Jonas, any any person who lives on like a farm on a large property, their horses know how to get home. They like I've seen uh, videos of people where they just let go of the bridle and it's right. like the, the horse is trained to go wherever you are home. To yeah, your go, barn. The, these horses, they do this every day for years. Right. They know where they're going. They're like, right. all right, we're going to the store. So, all right, we're going home. <laughs> right. So, so the argument that I've heard is this is essentially a limo driver driving this man because it's, in a limo, it's, you it's can a get Tesla. drunk and pass out. You ain't in trouble. The limo driver's driving yeah. you home. It's, it's more of a Tesla. Yeah. A little, right, a little right, Tesla. Right, right. But uh, a little so AI it works so most um, of the time. So, but I thought it was funny. And uh, it's interesting. Well, anyways, that was kind of the setup for this. So yeah, when I so yeah. when I went home, my cousins that live out in uh, in the country, they're they're like 50, 60, 60 years old. Um, they go out to the bars like on the PA Ohio line, and sometimes the Amish guys will come out and drink with them or whatever. What they told me is they fuck with each other, the Amish guys, and when ones when they're in the bar drinking, they will swap horses on their carriage. And so when he uh, so when he gets in to go home, it takes him to somebody so else's, else's house, house. <laughs> and they wake up at like four in the morning they're in the like, buggy, and they're at somebody else's fucking property. This ain't my house. Yeah, this ain't my horse. Yeah, so the horse knows how to get home, but the, it's the wrong horse, so he That's takes him to idea. somebody else's. Fu I'm That's like, funny. those guys are dicks. That's funny. Yeah, That's funny. I so, mean, even because it's a long trip, man. They got to go from the bar. The horse isn't going to gallop. It's not like yeah. chariot racing. It's going to slowly walk. Yeah, take a nap. Yeah, exactly. I'm not mad you, at I that. mean, you get home, you wake up, you're like, oh, I'm home, I'll go into bed now. So, what was the ruling? Do you have to be sober when I can operate in the buggy? I don't think it's buggy. like been finalized yet. I think like he they they released the guy. Yeah. Um. So I don't I don't there. It was it was short enough ago that I don't think it's like had its its huh. thing. I wonder but out what there the, in the country is. man like, dude. It's it's funny when I was driving, <laughs> uh, driving. We I got in the car to go to eat wings with them. All country way out into the out the PA. The Mennonites. They're like, yes, the Mennonites. Okay. Uh, hand me a beer. As we're driving, they're like, don't worry, there's no cops out here. Blah blah. blah. I love how there's no oh, cops Jesus. out here. Like, it's just like just a couple of good old boys with some road sodas, huh? <laughs> <laughs> right, dude. Jesus. And it's, I mean, not the one driving. The person oh, driving okay. didn't have one, but like I was in the back seat. He was like, you want one of these on the way out there, and I was like. I mean, road went in Rome. Yeah, went in Rome. <laughs> I'm not mad at it, Jonas, but don't drink and drive. No, no the, the driver was not drinking. Okay. thousand percent. hundred. I'm not even making the story uh, up right. for. He's, he is nodding his head yes. Yeah, they were, 
they they had they had one of them beer hats on with with this, uh, bottles of vodka in it. Yes, That's what they your were mouth doing. says no, but you're nodding your head yeah. yes right now. So, so. It's, the country is like a different animal, dude. The country is like a different animal. Yeah, not living in the city. Oh, you mean living in the country? Yeah, that's what I, I mean. I thought you were talking about America. Oh, Ameri- well, Jesus, that's a whole other <laughs> podcast, right? But uh, yeah, yeah, dude, living in the country is kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts. Yeah, it's it's you you pretty much do whatever the hell you want. You know what? I, you know what I do have to say though is like I feel like you would get more. You're more likely to get pulled over in the country than you are in the city if you happen to find a cop. I mean, it's the problem is they don't patrol, dude. It's like the sheriff. Yeah, they don't patrol, but I feel like in the city, like especially here in Austin, yeah. I feel like the cops are, they have so much on their hands and they're doing so much that they're not looking for like little infractions. So right. if, or like, if, so if you're not like speeding, like, like an asshole or you're not like up on the road, like on the sidewalk in your vehicle. The cops are just going to leave you alone. They got more important things to handle. Yeah, out here. there's actual crimes being committed. Whereas out in the country, I've I just have to say I've been pulled over more in the country than I have in the city. I don't know, you know, whatever yeah, time, you whatever you want to take from over, that. I thought it was bullshit. I went out with my I took my friend out to somebody's house. They were going to do something. I mm-hmm. just I gave him a ride, and we were driving home, and it was late. It was like two o'clock in the morning, and uh, there was train tracks. Yeah, and. And I didn't slow down much. I just went over the train tracks because they were good train tracks. Cop pulled me over because there was a cop behind me. Pulled me over. He's like, oh, I thought you were asleep at the wheel. You didn't slow down much on them train tracks. See what I'm saying? And I'm like, see what I'm saying? Bitch, get out. Thanks, dad. See what I'm saying? We're worried about my suspension over here. This is the thing is like, I think they are trying to eliminate the whole quota thing in police department, which, you know, obviously. Oh, right. Because they will pull you over for bullshit. But they are looking for something. So it's like if there's nothing... Because nobody's like, or everybody, there's not enough people, then there's nothing to find. They have to look for stuff. Here, there's an abundance in the city. There's an abundance of things to find. So they're like, I don't need the little stuff. I'm not going to go looking. Right. I'm not going to pull yeah. over everybody. Right. Well, right. Yeah. Like, why are they going to waste their time pulling over someone going 35 and a 25? Yeah, exactly. If there's motherfuckers out here shooting people yeah, and, exactly. and robbing people and drugs. and We live in an open carry state. So yeah, yes. yeah. I mean, there's a million people in this city. Somebody out here is doing, assaulting yeah. somebody somewhere. Somebody's getting <laughs> hit. Somebody's Look, getting, you know. Yeah. I don't care if you're going 10 over the speed limit. This man has a kilo of cam- of cocaine in his truck. Right, exactly. So, so but, but yeah, dude, I just think, like, the Amish culture is so interesting. And, like, the, actually, out by my grandma's house, they have an Amish store where they put all the stuff in fresh every day. Yeah. Like bread and also bakery. Sh- that shit, best tasting stuff you will ever have. But if you leave it on your counter for three days, it's moldy. Because okay. they need, use no preservatives. No preservatives. Yeah, but, yeah. Oh, my God. My dad, when he worked for the electric company, used to bring home like jams and jellies and stuff from Amish country. When he's, yeah. He'd be out there working on poles. <laughs> that sh- Dude, it was like liquid gold, man. It was so, I was like, nothing it should be this good. I've always wanted to hang out with some Amish. Yeah, I've never hung out with any. I never have either. I um, was a big Modest Yahoo fan. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I was. I had both of his albums. Yeah. I mean, hey. But I've never hung out with any Amish. But I hear it's a lot of work. Like, they, they get down and dirty. Well, yeah. I mean, they get up at like 4 a.m. every day. I mean, they're like, they're farm time. Dude. Yeah. Like, sun's coming up, you're up before yeah. the sun. So when the sun's there, you use all that daylight. Yeah, work hard, <laughs> but they play hard too. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Because apparently sure drinking is yeah, yeah. Drinking is allowed. It's perfectly halal, so we'll keep right. drinking. Exactly, exactly. And like, and it's so funny because like their shenanigans is so like wholesome, but like yet yeah, really important. Like those guys that got arrested for like shaving off the beards of other Amish because like the whole thing about you keep the you keep the beard when you're married. I don't remember what it is, but <laughs> something dirty. about once you start growing that beard, that's it. Yeah, like yeah, I think yeah. once you get married, you stop shaving your face. And like, so they're going in, sh- cutting off motherfuckers beards while they sleep. That's, like that's some dirt. That's like some jackass. Stuff. Yeah, swapping horses on the carriage. Yeah. Like, that's like such wholesome pranks. <laughs> but like to them, that's like that's like stealing your wallet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, dude, I I don't know, man. That's I, practical. What is it? Impractical jokers yeah, type yeah. stuff. Yeah, dude. That, that's it. Just blows my mind that like, yeah, that man, I just know. it's like they're like the the tribes people of the of the U.S. <laughs> Yeah, like the the aborigines, you know, they're just like they're out there not using medicine, living off the land. Like it's like ultimately, like that's what people should be doing. Not maybe to the extent, but like they have the right when the apocalypse come, 
The Amish are going to be fine. Oh, man, come on. They're going to be the first ones. Well, do they have guns? Are guns okay in Amish? Uh, I would think so because they probably hunt. It's like How else do they get their uh, meat? That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. I don't know. Maybe they use their bare hands. <laughs> They're just out there knuckle boxing bears, dude. <laughs> I wouldn't want to knuckle box an Amish. Probably in kick Amish? my ass. Is that racist to say that? Oh, what, an Amish? an Amish? Is that how you do it? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. All right. That was all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, after you do that, go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe again. Jonas. Dancing. Uh, we out.